Juliet Hammock, and I've been playing bassoon and contrabassoon with Peninsula Symphony for about 15 years. Uh, this is the bassoon, which is a tenor voice in the orchestra. And this one over here, which is probably a little harder to see, is the contrabassoon. This is the deepest voice of the orchestra. Um, anyway, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit. Um, you may not have heard the bassoon too much as a solo instrument. It doesn't get as much as much uh, time as the uh, violin or flute, but it does get a few solos. So I'll see see if you can recognize this one that I'm going to play here. <laughs> So that was from Carmen uh, by Bizet. Um, here's one that's a little more way out there. Uh, you may have heard this one. The soon can play very high like that, or it can play very low. The contrabassoon, which I'm going to demonstrate next, plays even deeper. It's actually a full octave below the regular bassoon. It has a bigger reed than the bassoon. The bassoon reed is very small. Contra reed is large. That's its lowest note. Um, and the contra bassoon really doesn't get a lot of solos, so uh, this is probably the only one you may have heard um, from uh, Rebel's mother, Goose Sweet. This is uh, The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. And yes, that last note is a high B-flat on the contrabassoon, so it can get up quite high. It has actually the same range as the bassoon, but you usually don't go that high except in this particularly famous uh, contrabassoon solo. Last thing I'd like to play for you is um, a more familiar version of uh, Beauty and the Beast that you might have heard in a movie. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed meeting the uh, bassoon and the contrabassoon from Peninsula Symphony.